Alright boys, I understand that it can be very frustrating trying to play this game with low FPS, especially if you don't have a real graphics card and you're using some kind of APU or integrated graphics. Usually this is laptop users. Uh, yeah, you're going to need some of these commands here to help you get some better FPS out of the game. So the first thing we're going to go ahead and do here is there's an official thread by Rito Robotron here about how to enable your console in-game. I'm going to leave a link to this in the description, so don't worry. I'm also going to paste this little bit of code here in the description. So what you're going to want to do is copy-paste this code right here. Application, blah, 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 enable true, just like it is here. When you open your notepad, it's going to look like this on the first two lines. You're just going to highlight that and then paste this new code over it. So you're going to want to navigate to wherever your Heroes and Generals is installed. For most of you, this is going to be just your basic C drive, program files, x86, Heroes and Generals live. Now for me, I actually have it on a different hard drive, but it's the same protocol. I'm going to go to my games folder, Heroes and Generals, live, and you're going to find this file right here, client. Or it might be called client.ini. When you go to open it, you're going to want to open it with Notepad if Windows asks you a question. And you're going to see at the very top here, this is just going to say application and then this bracket's going to be here. You just want to highlight all these, like these first three lines and then paste in this new code right here. The application, enable, console, true. Then you're going to want to make sure you hit file, save. Then you're going to want to close that down, close this down. And now we can get into the game. Alright boys, so now that we're in game, the first thing you're going to want to do is turn on your FPS counter. That's F7. You're going to see your frames per second up in the top right corner. So now once you have that open, you'll be able to gauge what your frames are looking like. So the first thing I want to get into is your basic video settings. Now you're going to want to leave vertical sync off. Most of this does not apply. But your resolution is where we're going to come back later. For right now, leave your resolution on its native quality, whatever your desktop is set to. Leave that alone. Make sure that vertical sync is off and then go to advanced. Now I see a lot of people just setting all these sliders to low. And in some games that actually does work, but in here it puts a bit of stress on the CPU. Now shadows and clouds I would recommend leaving on low as those are CPU calculated. But the object quality and the post-processing, maybe move those up to medium, hit apply and check your FPS, see if that helps or it lowers. Next you're going to want to try the enable true full screen. Some people actually get better FPS with this on and some get better FPS with it off. It's all about if your computer likes a borderless window or a true full screen. Now disabling HDR will give you, it should give you a decent little FPS boost right off the bat, but it's going to change up the lighting of the game. It's going to make the game look a little bit darker. Here, let me leave everything where I had it, but I'm going to turn off HDR. And it just makes the game look just a little bit darker. There's not as many dynamic lights coming out of the game, so just keep that in mind. Fast Particles and FXAA, you can disable these easy, just uncheck those, hit apply. Those are extra filtering that you really don't need if you're hitting an FPS wall. And so now that we have our console enabled, you're going to want to hit the backslash key. Not the tilde key next to number one like in most games, but the backslash key that's right above your enter key. That's going to open up this goofy looking green console. Okay, now that we have the console open, there are a couple commands here that we're going to try to get you some better FPS. This is where it gets good. This is the juicy stuff. So I have a notepad right here with some commands that I've gathered. The first two I know for sure have really good results, SSAO and Tessellation. So you're going to want to type these into the console just like they're written here, render.enable underscore SSAO and then one single space and you're going to put a zero just like that it's zero or one. Zero will turn them off one will turn them back on if you want to like reverse the change all right so first let's try the render dot enable underscore ssao zero now this ssao is an extra filtering system that's used to make shadows and lighting look a little bit better and by disabling this watch the bottom half of my screen what happens Oh, I accidentally had a space in there. You see, I messed it up. 
it. There was a space in my console. Render dot enable underscore SSAO space zero. Okay, let's try again. Now watch the bottom half of my screen. Now, as you can see, the game actually got a little bit lighter looking because the shadows and the lighting is not actually being filtered so much. And by turning that off, I've had users tell me they've gained to as much as 10 FPS on that one command. And just so you know, you can hit up and it'll bring back the last uh, command that you typed in the console. So I'm going to go ahead and turn my SSAO back onto 1. I just like to leave my game where it's at. And guys, just one quick side note, this render.enable SSAO, it's going to be one of the most valuable commands I give you, but this one command, only this one, there's a problem where it resets every time the game is reloaded or you load a new map, so you're going to have to make sure that you're retyping this in to get the boost of FPS every time you load up a new map. I know it can sound like a hassle, but when your average battle lasts a half hour to 45 minutes, it's worth the 10 seconds it takes to open up the console, type this in, and hit enter, you know? So just keep that in mind, guys. So now next is the tessellation. Now tessellation is when you're laying on the ground or in the dirt, and the ground looks kind of 3D and bumpy and it comes up at you. That's actually an added feature through the game's renderer and your graphics card. And turning that off will actually take a lot of heat off of your performance as well. So again, same thing, render dot enable underscore tessellation space zero. That should turn it off. And now you can also try these. This turns off water reflections and subsurface. I'm not, I think it's something to do with lighting on the surface, but I'm not 100% sure. But people also say disabling these will give you a decent FPS boost. And now the, the last one you can try here, I call it the cartoony graphics command. It's streamer dot max video memory space one. And what this is going to do here, I'll go ahead and show you streamer dot max video memory one. And what that essentially does is it sets all the graphics textures on the lowest possible that they can be. If you look around, everything kind of looks like it's made of plastic, like this barrel, there's no detail on there at all. My gun looks like it's just, you know, a blob. But that will actually give you a decent FPS boost, again, if you're struggling with FPS. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn this back on and let you see the difference here. Again, just press up, change the 1 to a 0, and you can turn it back off. And look at that, we now have detail on the barrel. It looks more like a barrel. But again, if you're hitting an FPS wall, all these things will help you gain FPS, even if you have like the weakest computer. So now after all this is said and done, if you're still getting bad FPS, we're going to revisit our video resolution up in video settings. Now, if running your native, you're still getting low FPS for some reason, I would suggest lowering this and just trying different setups. If you're running a widescreen monitor, try to keep it 16 by 9 or 16 by 10. Anything that's 4 by 3 or 5 by 4, it's going to look a little stretched and funny. But maybe take it down to, you know, 680 by 1050. I mean, really, you could take it all the way down to just 720 quality, 1280 by 720. Now, when you do this by lowering the resolution, the game's going to look a little bit more in your face because it's a smaller image being stretched out, but it's also a lot less stress on your system. It's not rendering as big of an image, so you can get more FPS out of it that way. And again, guys, all these commands we went over, they're gonna be in the description below, so you won't have to search far for them. And I really hope that this video helps out some of you out there. I've heard really good results from my comments on YouTube of telling people these commands in the past. Um, I had an older video up, I took it down to make this new updated one, it's just a little bit more up to date here. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, drop me a like if you haven't, maybe even subscribe, I have regular h and content, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.